And a special honor today for a pioneering woman in journalism, Connie Chung, being recognized by the Asian Hall of Fame. She anchored right here on CBS Channel 2 back in the 1980s and then went on to anchor the CBS Evening News. Our Amber Lee spoke with her. This is the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather and Connie Chung. Good evening and welcome, Connie. Thank you, Dan. She's the first Asian American and the first woman to anchor the CBS Evening News. The announcement came just a short time ago. Connie Chung was a trailblazer. I'm terribly honored and unworthy, believe me. Don't let the modest comment fool you. Basically, Amber, I was just working. I was doing my job. I was putting one foot in front of the other, trying to survive in a business that was dominated by men. And so I didn't think about who was out there and if, if I had an impact at all. Now she's sharing her inspiring story in a new book. I've been um, under the radar for about 20 years. And actually it was my husband, who uh, Maury Povich, who said, you know, you really got to put it down on paper. He said, it's a good story. In 2016, she was inducted into the Asian Hall of Fame. On Monday afternoon, she received the organization's first ever Centennial Medal for Inductee Lifetime Achievement Award. Another first she can add to her long list of accolades. I mean, I'm overwhelmed. It was enough to be inducted. Connie Chung, Jim Hill, Channel 2 News at 6. Since she first graced our TV screens, the landscape of news has changed for women. But she says more still needs to be done. We still haven't reached a level of parity. We need to continue the good fight. It'll, it'll take many more years, but we can't give up. In downtown L.A., Amber Lee for KCAL News.